basket is Union College Hockey on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. Tonight, a big ECAC NCAA Division I college hockey matchup as the Union College Dutchman hosts the Clarkson Golden Knights. Nisk Union native Colin Stevens gets the start for Union College. He's got great numbers this year, 17-4-2 with a 2.20 goals against and a 9.20 save percentage. However, Union has led up three or more goals in four of their last five games, including against this Clarkson team in the North Country, and they're going to want to improve on that trend. On the other side, it's Steve Perry, the freshman, 5'10", 162 pounds, so not very big, but pretty good numbers, 9-11 save percentage, 2.24 goals against en route to an 8-7-2 record so far. Dan, that stat from Union College, three goals or more in four of their last five games, that's got to be a little concerning for a team as they're heading into the postseason. No question, because this time of year you want to be playing real solid defense, and you want to take the pressure off the forwards or defense as far as the offense is concerned. Uh, but thankfully, but they've been scoring enough goals per game in order to uh, offset allowing three goals per game. Clarkson still with an edge in the all-time series. Union has won the last two and has been very good against Clarkson at home of late. The puck is dropped and we are underway. Thanks so much for joining. Oh, the face-off won by Union and they'll come out. Short-handed, two on one. Champini over, give and go. Deflected, Champini scores! Let's see if this one stands. The net was knocked off its moorings. And they're going to review it. Champini gets the goal. Yeah, I think they're going to take another look at this. They're going to have to. Uh, the official was right there and pointed to a goal, but from our angle, Dan, it certainly looked like that net was off before the puck went in. Yeah. We see the give and it. go. It was blocked, but the back-checking defense with Tansy Falls Champini's oh, yeah, right off. there. Yeah, that should be no goal. That net was off. That's a good angle right there. Yeah, the net was off before. I mean, it's very tough because it's when it crosses the line. And from that angle, center ice. Union fans want to call, don't get it. Union trying to get it. Let's go! Champini from the end line, and it's 2 0 Union. Well, that was just an unfortunate bounce off the skate of the defenseman from the Notre Dame Hounds, James Howden, the junior, deflected that into his own net. That's an angle you should almost never score from, but as all the coaches say, put it in front and good things will happen. Well, here he is right here. He's got escapes. Yeah. He just puts it right through his Dan. eye hole. Well, I think you may be right. I think that did go off of Howden. It looked like Champini was trying to hit it off of Howden because he well, was behind the red line. Yeah, well, Howden was. Well, here's Wilkins. Feeds a pass to Bennett. Has the stick lifted. Now over to Gostas Bear, left side. Gostas Bear. This Clarkson unit's been caught out there. Pass to Fleckman. play. Gosses Bear over to Taylor. Taylor keeps that shot low. I know he wasn't going to shoot it because he would have missed the net. And he gets a stick on it and puts it between the legs. Mark Bennett got himself one. Gosses Bear to Taylor off the wall. Just feeds it in front. I don't know if Bennett got a piece of that, Dan. That may have gone off. I think that went off a of Howden stick again. Let's see if we can get a slower version of that angle. Vecchioni, half towards left side, gets some help. Carr comes across, but Campini comes out. Campini over the right side, Gostas Bear scores! The ghost with the most power play goal, Shane Gostas Bear. Union goes up four to nothing. Well, that puck was out of Gostas Bear's wheelhouse, but I tell you what, real good players find a way to move around that puck, and that's exactly what Gostas Bear did. You could tell it was just too far off that front foot, so he adjusts with his footwork to get that shot off. That puck looked very difficult for Perry to track. It was on end, heading towards the net. Zone. And of course, they're only sending one fourth. Here's a giveaway, Vecchioni makes a move, scores! Mike Vecchioni, and that will seal the deal. Union goes up five to nothing. Kids out there, or some of the parents remember when 
Grandma used to make chicken with shake and bake. That was shake and bake right there. Sins made one move too many, coughs up the puck, and Vecchione makes the move. Perry falls for it, and he buries it. Vecchione gets his eighth goal of the year, and it's a 5-0 Union lead. Boy, Perry really overcommitted himself, thinking that he was going to the backhand, but Vecchione went back to his forehand. Its scoreboard has not updated. But we'll find out. Nine seconds to go. Shot is blocked by Clarkson. The Golden Knights have it. The fans on their feet in connected to Union College. Rolls to a 5-0 victory. And they mob Colin Stevens in net who gets the shutout. And Union College, even though they've struggled with injuries, continues to come up with a big win here at home. By a play. Final score. The game is over. This official Union College has gotten a share of the Clary Cup. The regular season title given to the ECAC champion, their third and fourth seasons. And you can see the team celebrating. What an accomplishment. And we see the cup right there held by Steve Ainley and Ed Krajewski from the ECAC. And uh, Union's getting used to that trophy. I don't know if you'll ever get used to that. You know, it's a long season, and, and I mentioned it earlier that the amount of work that these guys put in, not just from an academic perspective, but they also continue to lift weights. They do it during the summer, and they get stronger so that they can be better individually to make up a better team. The Clary Cup hoisted by Captain Matt Bodie. The team will gather around for the team photo. We're going to take a break. Union 5, Clarkson 0, Clary Cup to Union College.